Okay, uh, Vernon asks, could you say more about how you came to choose actors without uh, their auditioning? What are you trying to learn when you talk with them? How in the world did you know that Naomi Watts could give the performance she did in Mulholland Drive? I, uh, and I don't know why, but I, I don't ever read, sometimes I've been forced to, you know, on Dune, I, I had to do, Dino had me do um, some tests for people. But for my own, uh, if I'm in control, um, <laughs> I don't like to, to have people read. They, um, it's very embarrassing for them, it's very difficult. And they read the script maybe, the pages, but their take may be far away from my take, and then I'd want to start rehearsing with them, and those interviews could last forever. So I don't like to do that. What I like to do is talk to them, and talk to them, and while I'm talking to them, I'm looking at their eyes and their face, and running them through the film. And just the way they talk and the way they are, some don't even get into the film. Some go away a little bit and then they fall out. And one will go all the way through. And it's, so it's the idea to get the right person for that role. And you can feel it as you talk. And Naomi Watts, she, I had to talk to her twice. She came to the first meeting right off the airplane from New York to LA, and she didn't look at all like her picture. <laughs> and I was kind of surprised, but I, I knew uh, that, uh, that there was something about her, and we talked, and then I asked her to come back again um, with some makeup, and, um, <laughs> And we talked again, and then my assistant's son was in a film with Naomi um, a couple of years before that, and um, Scott was up at the house, and Naomi came up, and they were talking and laughing, and something I saw with the two meetings and the way she was uh, kind of freely uh, laughing with Scott, I said, you've got the, you've got the part and the rest is history. <laughs>